Howdy! I know quite a few have been asking me about the serial board for the Mark 8. In the previous video we assembled it and created connection cables for it. In this video we will attempt to connect it to the Mark 8 mini computer. If you would like to build your own serial board like this one, I have them for sale at kalangchuk.com, a link in the description. There is also an option for a kit which includes everything needed for the operation of the board. To begin, we need to make sure to configure the baud rate of the board. I've set mine to 9600 baud. Now we can simply insert the board into the bus of the Mark 8. I will use cables uh, created in the previous video to connect the board ports to the input and output ports of the Mark 8. We will use input ports 0 and 1, and also output ports uh, 1 and 2. Remember that output port 0 is actually the LED register. We now need to supply the serial board with positive 12 and negative 12 volts. Uh, fortunately, the power supply that I'm using has positive 12 and negative 12 volts. But anything between negative 15 and positive 15 volts should uh, work. In my case, I recrimped the positive 12 and negative 12 volt lines of the power conversion board with extra wires. These wires were then connected to the serial board with a simple connector. Be sure to connect the positive 12 volt line to the positive 12 volt connector and the negative 12 volt line to the negative 12 volt connector, otherwise something will burn. While we're working underneath the computer, let's go ahead and attach the DB25 connector and cable to the rear of the computer and run the serial cable through one of the holes. We can then connect the cable to the serial board. I think we're ready to power up the machine. No smoke means good news. I'm going to connect a terminal to this serial port so we could try some simple programs to verify that the board is operational. We'll enter a simple program which will output all the ASCII characters on the screen, one at a time. You can find this program on the GitHub page that I will link to in the description. Let's go ahead and run it. Fantastic! The serial board appears to be working, at least the output portion. Let's try another program which will test the input and output of the serial board. This program will listen for input on the serial port and when input is received, output it back to the serial port. It's basically a relay program. Let's go ahead and enter it in. Okay, uh, let me press a key on the terminal keyboard uh, to see what happens. Awesome! The key I pressed appears on the terminal screen which uh, verifies the input and output functionality of the serial board. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. Uh, don't forget to check out calingchuck.com and please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.